As the student voice is becoming increasingly valued in higher education, it seems logical that students as partners, where students are empowered to shape their learning experiences in partnership with educators, is gaining increased attention. Students' feedback on their courses is most often sought through their formal anonymous student evaluation surveys, and perhaps mid-trimester through informal means within the classroom. I believe the next step is to involve students in the course design process itself. In this current project, I sought to understand whether enhancing a course with students instead of for them could result in a more beneficial course. Music Research Design 2 is a trimester 2 honours course at the Conservatorium, which supports students in completing their dissertations. While prior student feedback has highlighted the effectiveness of active learning, constructive feedback has focused on assessment tasks and due dates as pressures mount towards submission of their dissertations. For the 2019 iteration of this course, I took a students as partnership approach, inviting students to collaborate in redesigning the course. Of the 11 current honours students, eight accepted the invitation to be involved. Two graduates from last year also accepted an invitation. Their first-hand experience of the course and of the honours degree more broadly provided a unique perspective for current students and meaningful insights for me. Two focus groups with students were conducted as part of this project, one after the planning meeting prior to the course commencing and the other upon completion of the course. These explored student experiences with the collaborative course design process and the course itself. Planning meetings took place at the end of trimester one where we undertook SWOT analyses of 2018 assessment items and identified potential assessment due dates. We discussed options openly, also exploring potential new assessment tasks and learning activities for the classroom. After the meeting, I created a new course outline based on discussions for student approval. Collectively, we decided to remove one assessment task completely, substantially transform another, and add a new assessment task. While class activities retained their focus on active learning, peer review activities increased and greater emphasis was also placed on addressing the challenges of honours more broadly, including mindsets, procrastination and other productivity challenges and solutions. While I'd initially planned to meet with students again before class, the holidays disrupted students' availability. So I replaced the second meeting with online planning documents that students could edit and comment on in their own time. Being holidays, engagement was minimal and so I attempted to schedule another meeting at the start of trimester two. This also didn't go to plan, with students expressing being confused about what was expected straight after the break. While some students lamented not engaging further, expressing they saw benefits in participation, they preferred in-person and real-time communication instead of emails and online files. This creates a small window of opportunity, because earlier in T1 would encroach on assessment preparation, holidays weren't appropriate, and later in T2 would impact the actual course. Scheduling is a common challenge in students as partners projects and one I'll continue to reflect on. But perhaps one meeting was all that was needed. Students felt surprised at just how much impact they had on the shape of the course. They felt there were strong connections between assessment tasks and completion of their dissertations and preparation for postgraduate study, which they attributed in part to the key role they played in decision making. Importantly, transparency around the process and not just the product was highly valued by students. They appreciated the empathy I approached them with and described having newfound empathy for course conveners in return and an ability for bigger picture thinking. Insights into the student experience, which were enhanced through graduates' involvement, were seen as particularly useful, preparing them for deeper understanding of the course and resulting in strong engagement. Students also appreciated the opportunity for horizontal alignment of workload, ensuring assessment due dates didn't coincide with any major performance commitments or other assessment tasks, and students strongly recommended taking this approach in earlier years of their degree. This partnership approach to course design also increased students' sense of belonging, 
with students expressing feeling part of the course. They also explained that staying in the same headspace as their peers and having opportunities for peer discussions and feedback throughout the course was most valuable as they navigated their honours year. With increased transparency and ownership of learning, students expressed feeling pumped and excited about this course before it even commenced, with one student describing the assessment tasks as stimulating and exhilarating. They attributed this to their sense of control over their learning, which resulted in increased motivation for the course and heightened accountability. After the course, students noted they hadn't resented the assessment tasks or due dates, explaining this was strange for them. They explained this was due to understanding the bigger picture, being involved in the decision making, and having insights into how other choices would have impacted themselves and their peers. Students' experiences and perceptions of this initiative is strong testimony for taking a students as partners approach to course planning. If you're interested in partnering with students and elements of course design, I would recommend first involving them in discussions around their interests, goals, expectations and challenges, making explicit the relevance of their course in light of those discussions. You might then build some space into the assessment for collaboration, such as co-designing essay questions, for example. Of course, the level and amount of partnership will be dependent upon the educator, students and course context. At minimum, I believe we should involve students in discussions about the process of course design and the curriculum choices early in their courses. Students as Partners is a rapidly growing area in higher education, with a number of resources available online. I encourage you to explore those included as links in the text accompanying this video. And please feel free to be in touch if you're interested in discussing Students as Partners further. Thank you.